I think it was a year that was relatively unexpected. It's been a uh, it's been an interesting year for Arthur Smith. It's a defense that Dean Pease did an amazing job of trying to dial in, find a way to keep them in games. To come into this organization into year one and try to establish your particular identity or culture was going to be hard, was going to be tough. Arthur Smith set a tone right at the beginning. There are no excuses. This is going to be a tough and physical football team. That winning mentality can be something that can really help this team moving forward. You really are turning a page in the organization's story. They're bringing in talented guys, but they're also bringing in talented guys who are really hungry. They did a hell of a job with the draft. All those so-called experts love what we did in the draft. The Atlanta Falcons like. I think you have a new coaching staff, you have a new front office coming in, and there's a lot of changes, but I think even in those changes, you saw a foundation that was being laid. They established key philosophies that are going to carry the Falcons through as they attempt to usher in a period of sustained success. And it's building upon that in 2022 that's going to be the marker of where this organization goes. It's it's an exciting time when we're looking at the future. You feel good about the progression of where this organization is going because of those two guys at the top. We, we get it. You can make all excuses. We're not going to make one damn excuse. It is football season time. It is training camp has officially opened up. There's just new energy. And whether you want to buy into it or not, I want to see my team improve, get better, and I want to ride with them along the way as we get back to hopefully a championship, Mike. It's not that hard. When it comes to training camp, it's really important that you get individual evaluations and also collective team evaluations. What is the vision for these two draft classes and how are we actively seeing that in this training camp so who is the face of the franchise that's kind of what i'm excited to see who is ready to step up and say i'm going to be the leader of this team they've established a theme over the course of the entire off season and it's prove it earn your respect go out and get it it's getting the rookies ready it's getting these free agents assimilated into this locker room and this culture that you already kind of have built in Atlanta. You think about a guy like Lorenzo Carter coming in here, what kind of role is he gonna have? You think about Casey Hayward in that backside, how is he gonna help that young secondary that you just talked about? Like, who's gonna be the guy on the outside who's gonna get to the quarterback? I think this has been one of the most important Falcons training camps that we've seen in a long time, and maybe one of the most intriguing in the entire NFL because of the level of competition, because of the opportunity available to young draft picks, to older guys coming in on a one-year deal. There's opportunity everywhere, but it will only be given to the guys that earn it. That's a staple of an Arthur Smith football team. It has been important for the entire roster to compete, compete, compete. This is a team in transition. There are a lot of spots on this roster that are up for grabs. So can you go out and earn it? Because if not, somebody from behind will take your job. These coaches are really kind of hammering in. You need to be aggressive. They would rather pull you back than have to push you forward. It's not going to be mediocre. It's not going to be average. It's not going to be in the bottom half of the league. This team's got a chip on its shoulder. We're ready to, we're ready to go out there and, and prove ourselves. It seems like this team is already so connected. And yes, you watch practice exactly. and you can feel the energy. Where y'all at? Oh, we here. Y'all taking a nap. We need it. We need it. When you have competition within a team, especially between offense and defense, I think that's nothing but a good thing. Everyone is trying to prove something here. They're working on details, they're working on fits, they're working together. How are you going to get better? How are you not going to make the same mistake twice? Those are encouraging signs for a team that sees the expectations, wants to give the expectations a giant double middle finger no and really push no beyond that. And 
and this crowd here at Ford Field on a uh, unique start time on a Friday. Year two for both Arthur Smith and Dan Campbell kind of begins here tonight. It's about the work. This is about can we protect the quarterback? Can we maybe run the football a couple of times? Can Drake London and company catch the ball or two? The closer and closer you get to the 53-man cut down is when you really start getting these very nitty-gritty evaluations of where players are. I think the first preseason game is key because it's the first time we're seeing so many of these new guys come together. Can we all agree that with a lot of new faces, how some of these guys play is going to matter as to how they're viewed, what they do on this team, and whether they're going to be there week one or not. There's only so much that you can learn in training camp. There's only so much that you can learn without live tackling. That Lions game, it's a good baseline report card about where you are and what you need to do moving forward to get this team to come together and play better when it matters most, which is week one against the Saints. And here is Marcus Mariota's first snap as an Atlanta Falcon. Play fake Mariota, going to boot back to the right, and he will turn the corner and look out, take a big lick, got knocked out of bounds. Marcus Mariota showed me a little bit of everything on that first drive against the Lions. They'll hand to Williams, left side. Damian slips through, first down, out to the 30-yard line. He threw a couple of absolute strikes. Mariota play fake to Williams. Mariota on the boot back here to the right, gonna zip it down the field. London the catch, in stride out to the 45. A strong throw and a great catch by the first round pick, Drake London. There's a difference between guys who are fast and guys who play fast. Marcus Mariota is quick, 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 quick. Blitz coming, Mariota takes a clear run around the near side and skips out across the midfield line. He is going to play with a level of physicality that we haven't really seen at the position in a long time. Empty backfield, snap to Marcus, he'll look across the middle and a sliding catch is held onto by Kadero Hodge at the 11 yard line and a first down. Second and goal at the six for Atlanta, turning seven nothing. Here's Mariota, play fake. He'll move the pocket to the left, has an alley, turns the corner and hits the pylon. Touchdown, Atlanta. Marcus Mariota passed effectively and used his feet beautifully in this drive that gets Atlanta on the board with 31 seconds to play first period. It's a dimension that this offense is not seen in a long time. Lions on the attack, and here is Boyle slipping it across the middle, and Dorian Etheridge stuck a hand in. You were able to actively see as the game went on a shift in what the defense was able to do and able to stop. You had guys who were flashing. When you look at the stat sheet or you, you look at the ball game, you say, okay, 48's always around the football. And Atlanta was some sure tackling by Dorian Etheridge. D. Alford is a guy kind of coming out of nowhere, and that's where he really made his name. Boyle up in the pocket trying to slip it back, and it's intercepted. Picked off and headed for the end zone is D. Alford. You have a guy like Arnold Ebiketti who really emerged and did some really good things. Even though the stat line's not there, you saw what he could be. Fumbled the ball! How about that? And Atlanta's recovered, and it's picked up by Timmy Horn. Well, you know, the difference in the game. You know, be able to get those turnovers and get points off of turnovers. So, uh, you know, to create sudden change and to be able to, to reward the defense to put points on the board. And I think Marcus Mariota's night is over. Here is Desmond Ritter. Well, well, well. What you saw from Desmond Ritter in that Detroit game was a guy who is just a gamer, who just wants to win. Desmond sets, throws, caught, and another big catch. That's Demir Bird. Came in there, and you want to see these guys how they handle adversity. It wasn't perfect. A lot to learn from, but he kept swinging. For his first performance out there, I thought it was pretty solid. Play fake, looks right, gonna loop it for Hesse. Caught it! Touchdown Atlanta with Parker Hesse on the back end. In the preseason, you never look at records. You very rarely look at, at the score, but Arthur Smith is trying to set a tone and a standard here that no matter what, you're gonna go win the football game. We wanna build a program that, that uh, values winning, no matter when we get a chance to go compete, whether it's preseason, Regular season, there are a lot of things they had to overcome throughout the game. They had adversity through the game. Arthur Smith could have said, let's run five more plays and we're out of here, and who cares? He was like, let's go win. The ball at the 26-yard line, it's third and 14. Ritter, underneath, that's Franks, knocked down after the catch at the 21. Fourth down and nine at the 21. Here's Ritter, pressure coming. 
Flush from the pocket to the right. Ritter going to throw it up. Trying to come back. Bernhardt catches it. Touchdown Atlanta. Holy smokes. <laughs> this team, they are going to be physical in every single game. Being able to put those players in those situations, that's everything that you need. We saw a quarterback in Desmond Ritter, a wide out in Jared Bernhardt, that they were not afraid of that big moment. Now, this week is kind of interesting because the Jets are up next, and they're going to go up to New York, practice with the Jets. They're going to have this combined team combination thing that goes on. Joint practices are really a great opportunity to finally see what you look like versus somebody else, what individuals look like versus other individuals in the league. It's intensely competitive. It was good work. Different scheme, different fronts. Thought we held up pretty well. There's different juice. Yeah. Okay. If you don't know their system, they don't know your system. The excitement of seeing somebody else, oh, no a different color jersey, and going out there and competing. You forget that it's a practice, and it kind of feels like a game. Competitive, fun, high emotion. Going out against a different team. So many new guys, a new quarterback, a new defensive signal caller. That's why they're so key for this group in particular. All right, guys, what are we watching tonight? Falcons taking on the Jets. Because there's only three of these, I think you begin to solidify your starters in this game. And I think that you might even see guys play a little bit longer. You want to see constant progress. You want to see more chemistry. Punches, clutches, fires, pits, caught in stride, 30, 25, and knocked out of bounds. We saw more of the first team offense. We saw more of the first team defense. And defend it back and going nowhere. It's Rush and then it's Okandaji for Atlanta. You want to see better run fits. You want to see everything get a little bit tighter and you want the operation of how they run the offense and defense to start being more like at a regular season level. Marcus looking left side, oh my heavens. Wide open and caught. The play of Jalen Hawkins has improved exponentially. I thought we were efficient, made some plays, got some points on the board. Looks left, gonna throw and Olamide Zacchaeus. I think that's what's great about preseason is it allows you to get into these real game situations and find where you can improve it. Final preseason game back at home. Last chance to make an impression on the coaching staff. For some of these guys, it's the biggest week of their lives. You really are coming down to the wire in terms of who is gonna make your initial 53-man roster. This is the week where it really takes shape. I get one more chance to show this organization that I need to be here. Desmond Ritter, is a guy who you can describe with one word, and that's poise. So Ritter's first throw is picked by Thomas. We had one guy up front go the wrong way. He let one mistake become two. So he understood that. He didn't, he didn't pout. Puts his head down, comes out the next drive. I thought he was, was very solid. Ritter looking to throw, shoots it. Caught Demir Bird. Desmond looks right, slips it to Algier. He'll catch it and fall into the end zone for the Atlanta touchdown. Tyler Algier for the Atlanta touchdown. The backs mentality, the way they run, and we've seen Tyler Algier today. I saw what the Falcons really need, especially in short yardage situations and obvious running downs. Somebody who was willing to take a hit and keep going. They're gonna hand it straight ahead, and Algier plunges in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Yeah, they ran hard. I thought the line, the receivers, they blocked. You're able to get a lead, and, and you get these guys in a flow, but there's nothing I enjoy more. From the defense, I think I saw some encouraging signs. You wanna see, are they better than they were in late July? And I think the answer with so many of these young guys is yes. I was excited. I mean, a lot of it too is not just the sacks, but when you're running certain pressure packages in games, everybody being coordinated on the same page. Tackles for a loss, getting their hands on passes, tipping it at the line of scrimmage. Anderson got to him, put the fly ball in the air, did Perry, and it's intercepted. Bernard stands at the Atlanta 30 with 342 to play, and it's blocked. And it is scooped up, rolling into the end zone. The end zone move for the touchdown. Is it going to be a touchdown? We made him kick field goals, and we were able to score uh, touchdowns in the red zone. And this was a good way to cap the preseason for us. Uh, preseason or not, we could get a win at home. It is hot off the press. Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot have just released their initial 53-man roster. That 53-man roster is very fluid, and it will continue to be throughout the season. Every guy we got in that locker room, I appreciate their effort. 
entire spring, uh, summer camp. These guys have worked uh, extremely hard. Was uh, thankful for those guys' efforts. The expectations are what they are, and the Falcons don't care about what they are. They see the outside expectations, and that allows them the opportunity to play with a chip on their shoulder. The one thing I've come away with since camp opened, mindset. Seems like that message is clear and defined in year two. The mentality, you like the mentality. There's a hard-nosed mentality about this team. This is a team that is going to show up. They're not going to back down from taking a lick or taking it on the chin. You can certainly see that Arthur Smith's uh, guidance on that. We're starting to make that transition. They're about going out and they're about proving to themselves, proving to their supporters that they're as good as they believe. They're going to go out there and they're going to play hard and they're going to be physical in the moments when it matters. This team is going to give it to you for four straight quarters. They will not give up. That is the identity of this team. They will never stop coming at you.